sorry about that, babe. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bits Plays Kingsfield 4, aka The Ancient City. We're playing on real hardware on my PS2. This is part 4. Uh, in the last part, we went through the spider area where we did kill the spider. We did a lot more exploring. Uh, we met an NPC. And since then, I did a little bit of grinding, which is the reason why I had my status up in the first place. Uh, it was only about 15 minutes. Uh, I was trying to go back to the mine to get more gold, and a lot of the miners didn't respawn. So that sucked. But uh, along the way, I did level up my uh, my level, and I leveled up my physical. Uh, and then we went back uh, through the shortcut in this area to get back to the merchant, where I bought some more herbs. I have 30 now, and I bought some more antidotes to get up to 8, and that is exactly where we are. Now, I believe uh, the next place that we have to go is going to be that area that I did traverse in last part of the playthrough. Also, I wanted to note that outside the church, uh, the fountain is now functional uh, for healing waters, which is exactly what we did by uh, placing that idol symbol thing uh, where we killed the spider. Now, the reason why I'm looking at my guide real quick is I'm pretty sure that... Hmm. Pretty sure the NPC scoots around somewhere. I can't remember his name. It was a strange name. But, um... We'll see. I don't think it's uh, necessary, though, to talk to him again. Because this leads... Yeah, this leads directly to this area. All right, let's go see if maybe he's chilling in one of the uh, the off rooms. But if he's not, I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, because I grinded, I actually have less time to record, which does suck. Checking to see if he's in one of these rooms. Nope. Oh, is he here? Oh, I thought maybe he'd be chilling with the fire fire idol. Alright. Anyway, let's continue on. I'm sure if we were, you know, doing like some retro achievements thing or something, probably getting all dialogue would be an achievement, but not gonna worry about that right now. Alright. So last time we were in here, uh, things weren't going well. <laughs> so hopefully, uh, with a little bit more experience and whatnot, we'll be okay. I probably should have, now that I'm thinking about it... I should have grinded on the mushrooms. Because we're going to run out of, uh... Magic replenishment at some point. Oops. Can I break it with this? Hey. I wonder if it's tied to the weapon, or if it's tied to your strength. Like a mix. Oh! I, I knew something was gonna happen. <laughs> Boom. Check for hidden doors. Oh shit. These guys are still like off-putting to me. They're, they're creepy, man. God, they attack so fast. I don't think a front attack is it. This is very similar actually to... Um... To whatchamacall. The, uh, the soldiers in Kingsfield 2. Especially when they have like their little crescent axes. They're not really good to attack from the front, so. Right, we're finding the Guardian's Chamber. A lot of arrows. How many arrows do we have? 
Oh, li <laughs> literally three. What is that? Is that a golem? Hmm. We do have a light spell. I think I might cast that. We'll see if it does anything. It's probably going to be a huge waste. Yeah. Looks like it's more, uh... Draw distance than anything else. Binding pedestal. Ah, shit. Did what I always do, guys. Don't have my notes up. There we go. So I'm going to get rid of that and get rid of that. So right now, the only thing I have on my notes is that locked chest back towards the very beginning. There's obviously also that locked door as well. But we are currently exploring in the area that I believe we're locked into, so... Bind There's a lot of binding pedestals. I didn't even see that. <laughs> I was clicking thinking there was going to be a hidden door there. <laughs> Heeding the wise sage words, we set all the guardians free. We have nothing to regret. Oh yeah, there is writing there. Well, I'm assuming the guardians are probably like slang for the golems, I'm assuming. So... Whenever we... Oh, what's this? Bro! Can you come down here? Can I kill this guy? Is there like a, a proper... pedestal somewhere? Oh shit, this guy's... Binds the movement of the city's guardians. So does that mean that he... There we go. I knew... <laughs> I knew, I knew, I knew. I knew coming in here that this was gonna happen. I had great intuition based off of my uh, previous excursion that this was gonna be a tough area. Okay, so we just have to go back. And we'll very quickly loot those barrels. And I think I might explore the other side. I don't quite know what to do with the guardians. I mean, I could... I think there was more to explore over there. But I'm not touching the, uh, <laughs> the crowns right now. frames, huh? Harry this, boy. Alright. Thankfully we're not, uh, <laughs> too far behind or anything. Man, they are tough with a capital T. Yeah, 
Yeah, I didn't go that way. So we know there's one of you. Uh-huh. There's that crown. Huh. So this just goes around, I see. Oh, it's like, what is that? It's the arrows. Damn, these guys are intimidating as hell. Huh. I'm not quite sure what that puzzle is. Um, but yeah, I don't think we're supposed to go here yet. <sighs> or maybe we are. I don't know. But one thing I do know is that we cannot take our time there because if we grab that crown, the guardian is going to block our path completely so we need to basically grab it and run like asap oh uh, i wonder hmm i wonder if the guardians come out and they eat the arrows and then it allows us to pass Possible. Okay, another trap. Oh, here we go. Getting sniped. What is this? The hell? What is this? I wonder if we warp out of here later. So I am getting sniped from somebody and I can't see where. Engineer's door. a crown there possibly I don't know I don't know what that is I don't know is that a good dog or a bad dog <laughs> it looks just like the dog that was in the uh that town earlier let's check to make sure this didn't open up I don't think it did yeah. all right well let's top off okay that was the weird seal door this just opened dog ran out 
Sorry guys, my uh, cat upstairs is clearly chasing a hair tie, so if you hear a lot of banging for the next 15 minutes, probably it. Stone used with the red stone wand. The hell's the red stone wand? Have these already? Iron boots that are easy to break. They're better though. I really like that. Okay, I have that down in my notes. I do really like that. That's cool. That's one of my favorite things about the game so far, as far as, like, differences. How you could have very, very similar items, but they have different descriptions, or they have a slight, you know, modifier, whatever the case may be. So basically, when I get hit a couple times, I want to check uh, to see what's going on. There's no way. That's all that's in this room? Empty beds? Uh, uh huh. Okay. Alright, we got ourselves a hatchet. And axe. Single edged blade mounted at the end of a long handle. How, how's this guy go? We can give it a try. I think I'm probably going to stick with the, the fire sword for a little while, but we can give it a try. Holy mackerel. Eh, not bad. Getting a bunch of arrows. Before I do any kind of guardian corpsing, um, I'm probably gonna retreat and save because I do not want to lose my progress. <laughs> I was okay with losing it when I did, obviously. Not a whole lot was lost. How am I not hitting you? What the fuck? Okay, I wasted magic for literally nothing. Not sure how I wasn't hitting that thing. Oh. Wow. Okay, there is something there though. All right. I was gonna say, an entire troll room? You gotta be kidding. How can I hit this? I'm so confused. Am I not low enough to the ground or something? I am befuddled. I'm literally right next to it. <laughs> That's so annoying. Right, let's go back to our fire sword. Fuck it. Okay. I don't know. Anyway. Weird. Very weird. Oh, it's our last mushroom. Damn, alright. All good, though. It's 
somebody's hitting me. He, he just turned it back on, didn't he? You shit. I didn't have much choice. Couldn't really skirt around him there. Although, <laughs> can't speak. There goes my theory about the Guardian needing to eat the air arrows to get by. Just turn them off. Simple enough. Perfect, just got hit. Let's heal. Alright. Continue. Oops, almost fell. How do I get over there? I think I can sprint, right? Ooh, that's a big... That's a really big gap. I don't think we could sprint over that. I don't know. Should we try? I just feel like you don't move as fast in this game. Yeah, I didn't think so. Fuck. Alright. Alright. Um... You know what? I'm gonna be a uber puss and we're gonna retreat and save and then we're gonna check straight forward. To my knowledge, all that I have to the other side is the guardian mask key situation. So. I love this song, by the way. It's so good. Oh, this is the fire guardian, right? Oh, no, this is where... The NPC was. Okay. I don't even know if I saved, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was like zoning out. Uh, I think I saw something, by the way. Apparently I did miss a freaking secret in that one room, which I'll show you guys in a bit, that I swear that I checked every wall, but I guess I missed something. So let's go back and see. Hopefully those enemies don't respawn, because if they do, they're going to keep turning on the trap, which is really annoying. Alright, it doesn't look like they do. Yeah, apparently in this room over here, where we had the uh, skeleton inside the barrel... Apparently there was something hidden in here, and I'm telling you, I clicked on everything. Oh, I wonder if it's... Uh-huh. Oh, wait, what? I thought I heard something. Am I tripping? Is it a different room? Check the wall, oh, across from the skeleton barrel? Didn't I do that? Where am I missing it? Oh. Oh, uh, it opens up really quick. What the hell? That's probably how I missed it. I probably did click it, and it just opened and closed real quick, and I didn't even notice. What are you gonna do? Ooh, well-balanced greaves used by knights. Yes, sir. I'll take it. Anyway. Alright, continue on. Got about 
20 to 25 minutes before I have to stop. Depending on where we finish off, I might extend this part to later. Fucking bullshit. It's really hard to dodge these guys. Thank you. That is a new area. Apparently so is this though. Huh. Did not want to use my magic there, but... Also, I gotta remember. Oh, I thought, dude, I thought that was like the Moonlight Sword for a second. Got really stoked. Uh, I also have to remember that. Uh, we got a sword puzzle here. Maybe. We have that weird, like, sealed thing. For a second, I thought my health went down and I didn't get hit. Strange. Oh, here we go again. Oh my god. In the award for literally the most annoying destructibles in this game, go to those. Oh, cool. It's lighter and better. Iron gloves to protect the forearm. Cool. All right, so did I go into this door? I don't remember. Hmm. We are continuing on here. All right, let me just take a look at the guide. So yeah, apparently um, I do have to go back and grab the, <laughs> the crown thing. Ugh. And apparently this isn't a puzzle at all. Literally just a sword. It is better but has no elemental and it is way heavier. Sword given in honor to someone who has joined the knighthood. I guess we could test it out for a little while. Let's see. Woof, that's slow. We'll give it a try, though. <laughs> we'll give it a try. Alright, I healed up. Uh, so I have to be on the run here. Do I move faster if I, like, straight up just, like, remove this? I think I do. I don't know if that's placebo or not. But... I gotta get out of here real quick. Alright. Run! That was in, like, I was about to say intimidating and scary. Intimidating. Right, let's go back to our fiery sword for now. I don't like how slow the night sword is. I might have to build up my strength or 
I might never use it. <laughs> I have no fucking clue. Um, should I go down that one alcove, though? I don't know. I don't think so. I'll do that later. Let's check out what they got down here. I'm running out of magic, which really blows. sitting over <laughs> I'm like trying to parry pressing like shoulder buttons like I'm gonna swing my shield at them honestly that would be a real sick mechanic if they had that but I get it I was expecting like some big long section coming up here. <laughs> Stab goes down, everything else goes up. Weight goes up considerably. Iron breastplate with rather weak. I actually might, mm, I don't know. I might just sell that. So it seems like durability only really comes into play when it specifically states that it's weak. Which means it goes down quicker. Uh, or... You know, you're really married to something and you're just taking a lot of damage over time, right? Alright, so I guess we gotta go to that other door now. Hoping for a safe spot, not gonna lie. Don't shoot me. Oh shit, dude. What? Oh god. Well, we're getting ready to run. This doesn't work. <laughs> oh, thank you. Jesus. Those guys scare me. Okay, I see. So there's two crowns. Oh, gotcha. Huh. Does this warp me back to that one room? Let's save real quick. And can we grab it out? Is this like the warping system, the moon gates and stuff like that? Ugh. God, I wish I was streaming this for you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know it's not my fault, but let's see. First of all, can we grab it out? We can. Worst case scenario, I have to get up and press reset. What? Do I need two of them? What the hell? Well, shoot. I don't know, like, do I leave that in there? I'm gonna grab it, I guess. Kind of a bummer. Alright, so we got stairs down, stairs up. Or no, actually it's two stairs up and then this huge door. I 
I might actually go, uh... I think I'll go up. Got about 10 minutes left, so I can't go buck wild here, unfortunately. And we got a whole lot of nothing. Look at that. Then we have our favorite uh, crates that are like impossible to hit for some reason. Oh. My bad. It probably connects though. Yeah. Oh, you fucker. Ooh, damn. Got him. Shadows are everywhere, lurking, watching, waiting. Children of the Dark Ones? Oh my, here we go. Oh my fucking god. I don't want to waste magic on it, bro, but like... How do I hit these consistently? I don't understand. So you have to like, aim up. That's so weird. This armor looks cool as hell, by the way. Intricate armor made of interwoven chain link. Holy freaking equipment lobe. Jesus. That is way too heavy. Dagger? Forest carver. Ooh. A large knife used amongst the forest folk. So the range is going to be terrible, right? Ah! Uh, not really. That ain't bad. Oh! We're back out here. Gotcha. Okay, that's cool. I wasn't expecting that, actually. So I guess now my only... ...pause for concern is... I don't quite know... ...where we're going next. This is the save room that has that. I guess I continue on through here. But I legit have, I like to wrap up a little early so I'm not like scrambling to get into my, <laughs> my work browsers. I do have like 10 minutes, oh. This area is pretty sweet. Am I supposed to be here? Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, it looks like I am actually, huh? Yep, I am supposed to be here. Oh my god, we got flying enemies. Oh, goodness. I still don't have a bow, dude. Eh, alright, well, I just ruined you guys, uh from a good experience, but I, I guess a lot of the barrels in here are trapped. <laughs> so if you hit them, you just die right away. All right, I think unfortunately, this area is fucking huge, dude. I, I can't explore this right now, I don't have enough time. So I'm gonna, oh, gonna explore this room, I guess, and we'll. Probably have to cut it. Okay. Great, yeah, that's awesome.
So let's test out. Let's see. Uh, I don't think that exploded. Oh, thank you. It's like the game new, dude. Oh, where the fuck did you? Wait, what? Where did he come from? Am I tripping? Dude, what the fuck? Where did he come from? Did I not kill him earlier? Maybe I didn't kill him. I probably didn't kill him. You let me out. Oh my god. I probably didn't kill him. By the way, this area reminds me of, um... Shulva Sanctum City from Dark Souls 2. Big time. Loving this game so far, by the way. Don't get me wrong, huge fan of the Veridite trilogy. Um, I like, you know, the story. I like the differences between all three of the games. I think it's... They're great games. This one's probably my favorite, though. So far. And the reason I say that is it just it feels... I feel like their vision was better suited for PS2. I don't know. But I'm not done with this game, so I'm not going to uh, write anything off yet, of course. But anyways, I have to stop and work big time sad. Um, I have to figure out if I'm going to cut this part of the playthrough or not. You'll see in a bit. Probably not. Alright, it's actually later that same night. Decided that we're going to uh, continue on this part. Probably going to be a little bit longer than uh, the traditional part is, but it's okay. I actually streamed tonight, streamed a little bit of Act Razor Professional mode. Uh, just did a little casual stream practice. I got kind of close to the end. I made it to the fire level. So not too bad. Alright. Actually, did I finish... I can't remember if I finished uh, looting over here. I don't think so, right? This was that weird room. I guess I didn't grab the coins. Whoa! You could fuck off, sir. I kind of wish that my streams didn't mess up. This would have been fun to stream with the community, but... It is what it is, I suppose, right? I'm still having a blast. I'm like, as you could probably guess, typical dialogue for me. I'm tired. I am very tired. But, um... I decided I'm going to push through and play for about an hour. Because I love this freaking game and this series. So addicting, dude. I'm not even kidding. Um, pause real quick. I had Act Razor stuff planned next, which I'm going to do. And then I had Demon Souls. Then I had Terra Enigma. After that, though, I might go right back into this uh, formula. Might do uh, Eternal Ring. Because I haven't played that in a while. Or give Shadow Tower a go, maybe. Oh. Oh, give me a break, bro. I'm about to die. How many herbs do I have left? Oof.
These guys are hard to shake. Like, look at that. Their AI is really weird. It's like if I don't see what I'm saying. Like if I don't do anything, they like walk away. It's almost like they're friggin' T-Rex from <laughs> Jurassic Park or something. This guy's a fucking asshole! Are you kidding? Wow... I, I don't think I've ever really seen that before. Uh, from like a Kingsfield or a Dark Souls game. That dude was like holding his shot, dude. Uh... I remember reading in my guide that, uh... These blow up. Maybe not. I don't know. Apparently somewhere nearby. These blow up. And instantly kill you. <laughs> nonetheless. What? This room was basically useless. Alright, whatever. <sighs> NPC, eh? <laughs> that's the, uh, that's the ticket. All right. Thank you for saving me. Please take this. Is there anything else you need? Hey, we got a bow. Oh, okay. It's actually very good. make sure that I didn't accidentally sell something that I shouldn't have. When I when am I gonna when am I gonna get my neck guard? Alright, so it's barrels, I guess. I think it's wise to grab a mushroom. Right. How many arrows do I have? 13. So I saw that the guide recommended that I have 
20 sometime soon, so... God. You won't drop a mushroom. Damn it. Got a mushroom drop, baby. You guys, not doing well. Is that the dragon thing? Give me a break. Oh, maybe there was never a real mushroom drop. It was probably just at the base of it the whole time and I didn't notice. Okie doke. The lack of maps in this game is one of my gripes, which again reminds me, as always, forgot to bring my notes up. Ooh, did I click stop recording? No, I didn't. Good. Forgot to bring my notes up. Alright. What hit me? What? Who's shooting me? Who's hitting me? Where? Oh my god, where'd you come from? Look at this! Oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. I really do. You're like a hollowed out zombie. Yet. Yet. I'll leave it at that. Things are so heavy, dude. Like seven pounds heavier. I love it, but I feel like it's just gonna make me too sluggish.
Weird. Stairs down from over there? Where the hell does that come from? Restores magic energy and raises magic power. So this is like a, a Veridite piece. Restores magic energy. Oh, I'm all out of magic. Huh? Right? It's going to raise my stats and... What? Only half meter? Come on now. Kind of whack. All right, well. Huh, I guess we're supposed to go back and Kill those guardians. <laughs> Gonna be kind of wild, but... This is the room I was already in, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so I guess the mushrooms are already on the floor. I thought they were drops. That's my mistake. Yet again, this is why you never buy stuff in these games. <laughs>
Okay. So now we're probably, yeah, we're on the other side now. Statue of Flame, eh? Was it not on? No, an expedition's chest. All right, hold on. So apparently I can kill these uh, golems. So uh, do I have an? I don't think I have enough arrows though. Make sure to have at least twenty arrows before you leave. Ramirez, who is the <clears throat> the salesperson. Why aren't you searching the body? There you go. Still don't know how to get to wherever the hell that is. No clue. Tell you what, man, not having a good map in this game is, uh, not ideal. Again, yes, I am well aware that, you know, I could look in my strategy guide, but... So I'm trying to backtrack out towards the beginning, and I am struggling. Shit. 
Well, I guess we could save out here. And we could always give the, uh, the golem stuff a try, I suppose. Can't hurt. Okay. Go back to where you placed the Binding Crown, get it to release a Stone Guardian, then proceed up the stairs. The Stone Guardian can't follow you here. Equip the bow and launch arrows into the Stone Guardian. Aim for its head, get the Binding Crown from the other side and deal with the second Stone Guardian the same way. Excuse me. Check out the alcoves uh, to find Crystal in the Keystone. Okay, I see. So... Alright. I guess they can't come up these stairs? I'm assuming? Well, we just saved, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, Alright. That was easy. Keystone lower is the raise. Oh, nice. Nice. There we go, we get that crit action, baby. Nice. Can I... Did not mean to press any of that, to be honest with you. It's okay. I was trying not to lose an arrow. <clears throat> Ooh, that's Earth, right? Did not mean to do that. That's the Promius piece. Here we go, Earth Crystal. What did we learn? Uh, Earth Heal. Health is restored to the damaged body. Damaged body. By using the power of Earth. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's head back and save once again. Uh, and then I guess we can continue on. The way we were headed.
Where do we place like the drawbridge key though? Clearly it's not there. Also, I didn't save. Right? No, I didn't. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, because we have to go here. Yeah. Okay. Um, like, should I stop there or I don't know? Take a quick look. Yeah. You know what? We'll stop here, guys. I think this is a good place to call it a part. Uh, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the playthrough, and if you have, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more of my first ever playthrough of Kingsfield 4, aka The Ancient City. Take care.